Hi, this is Hybridge Motorhomes Devon Branch on the 31st of July 2024. It's a very grey, slightly mild, not unpleasant day and we are doing a quick video on this grey but not very grey, freshly delivered Wild Axe Europa. So right, we're doing a couple of videos, we've just done that Solaris XL Volt Pack. These are two sold units uh, which have been delivered, uh, so we're doing videos both for the buyers and um, well, we'll pop them on YouTube as well, So because both of these have got some uh, some interesting specifications about them. So the uh, Solaris XL there, it's got Skyview Skylight Volt Pack and this one's got Lithium and Wi-Fi. So the, so the Europa is the two berth luxury N lounge van conversion from van conversion specialist Wild Axe based out of Elland in Yorkshire. They are part of the giant uh, Rapido group from France and that gives them fantastic backup and buying power and financial and sort of uh, expertise. Uh, at the same time they do get left alone to continue building vans like they do and that gives you a lovely blend of the archetypal English layout in the case of the Europa with the N lounge but with European levels of specification, in fact better than European levels of specification um, but being designed for longer term off hook up year round camping so they're very capable vans. Um, so most of them are based like this one on the Fiat Ducato X8, that was the new one for 2122. This is the 6.34 metre van, so it's the extra long wheelbase. It's actually the same wheelbase as the 6 metre, it's just got that bit of extra overhang and that gives you the extra bit of length to have a life, lovely big end lounge that will make a huge double bed or twin singles. So Fiat Ducato X8. Um, it looks the same as the 2015 one, the X7, which is still in production as a Peugeot and Citroen, um, but Fiat gave themselves all loads of modernisation. So uh, the LED daytime running lights have come back, uh, you gained a new eggshell grill, you gained a new dash and infotainment system, you gained all sorts of extra options and you gained... Um, new door cards, new dash cards, new cup holders and electronic power steering which is super smooth so it puts it up there as being in my opinion the level of anything coming out of Germany and for a motorhome because it's very rectangular and handles very very well and it's very stable I think it's the best all-round van for the job. So this one is in R10 grey there's two colours available from Wild Axe you can have Expedition grey which is a light flat grey but this is R10 grey which is kind of like a gunmetal grey silver metallic We've got full colour code in a standard LED daytime running lights, the high gloss style pack, 16 inch five spoke alloys look very very smart. This one's got the optional two late Omni store awning. Price for one of these to this spec, I mean starting price is 78.95 for an auto, 75.95 for a manual add-on the awning and some other bits and bobs you're going to be talking in the low to mid 80s or so which is a lot of money but it is for the spec and the build it is very competitive and they're very very popular yeah, in fact europa has been our probably joint best selling wild axe this year flush fit proper motorhome double glazed windows that you can open unlike its main competitor to the auto sleeper warwick xl which uses single glazed non-opening windows so on a nice day in an auto sleeper warwick duo or a warwick xl or any auto sleeper van conversion you can't open your blooming windows which would really annoy me uh, even though they do look pretty but yeah these are proper motorhome flush fit double glazed lightly tinted windows if you do factory order you can have uh, see-through ones instead but these let a lot of light in give you privacy this one's got the optional two late omni store four meter awning looks fantastic uh, in fact looks so fantastic that the uh, ref are, are popping by there to have a look at our wild axes they often do that awning light rear lounge window and uh, this one's got the barbecue point. So Wild Axe spec has changed recently. We'll talk more about this inside. But um, uh, they used to have an underslung gas tank. Now they don't. So they've got a gas locker for a single bottle. That only powers the cooker. And in this case, the optional barbecue point for running a gas barbecue. Um, and everything else doesn't run on gas. It's only the cooker. Um, so your fridge is now 12 volt, runs off your leisure battery and you've got standard 120 watt solar panel and the heating when you're not on the mains along with the hot water runs off diesel um, which is super economical very powerful and you've got 80 liters of it so and it's available everywhere 24 hours a day so much much better it's so coming around the back so it's an in lounge van the archetypal british 
people call it the caravan layout, I suppose it is, but it just works. And look at this, a sumptuous, very, very large end lounge. So you've got storage underneath, boilers there, storage, and this storage runs all the way down, um, right through that dark coloured rectangle. This one's got cloth, that's the other reason I've done a video of this one, is because it's got cloth. This is the standard cloth trim. Now, Wild Axe use a brilliant company called Regal Furnishings for all of their upholstery, who are, I think, the best in the country. If you don't want cloth, you can have whatever upholstery you want. You can uh, liaise with us and Regal and pick what you want from leather, half leather, umpteen different cloths. This is way the most popular. Uh, I tend to order our Europas with a black sort of diamond stitched leather, which does give it a bit of pizzazz. It's not for everybody, but that's why I've done the video of this, because we don't order um, or see so many with the cloth, just in Europa. Um, but this this is lovely. It's got like a half, they call it half leather. It's almost like a like an Alcantara sort of faux suede sort of thing with cloth infills. Very modern, very neutral, um, but you can have what you want. While we're back here as well, this one's got lithium battery. So with, with Wild Axe, you can have the van completely gas-free um, and have uh, full lithium set up and loads of solar and um, no oven. And it's got microwave and an induction hob instead. Or you can go halfway house, which this is. So you retain your gas oven and grill. Um, you've still got your diesel heat and hot water 12 volt fridge, you're not using any gas there. And for electric you've got a lithium battery which is basically doubles your performance of the same size or maybe two and a half times the performance of the equivalent sized AGM or standard leisure battery so to speak. You have to do, change quite a bit of your charging system to do that so it's not just a plug and play thing so it is quite expensive, it's about 1200 quid for lithium. Um, but it saves space and weight and it means as I say it's the same as having like two to three standard leisure batteries but it only takes up the space and weight of one uh, and also they're much longer lived as well because you can fully discharge them many many times without worrying about damaging them so that's what this gentleman's gone for so it's nice with wild axe you've got varying options to tailor make the build of your van to what you're going to be doing with it and at a fair price as well much better than having to pay to do it retrospectively on a van where you can't have it from the factory so say so, double glazed opening windows concertina blinds and fly screens coming down the off sides you've got your mains hook up so mains hook up 120 watt solar and lithium uh, battery in this one. Another lounge window, underslung fresh and waste water tanks, but they are heated and insulated as standard. Uh, fresh water fill up point there, emptying for your Thetford cassette toilet, which is actually a Thetford on this one. It's a bench toilet, so it's got the biggest toilet cassette. You don't see them very often. And your bathroom window. So, Fiat X8, you'll see the semi digital dash there. It's got the multi-function leather band steering wheel with buttons on the front and the back, cruise control, stereo buttons, all sorts. This one's got the 9-speed fully automatic ZF gearbox from ZF in Germany. They are the world's best automatic gearbox manufacturer and they sell to Fiat, Chrysler, Dodge, Corvette, uh, BMW, Jaguar, Land Rover, Range Rover. I think Volvo as well have used them in the past, don't hold me to that. So um, yeah, you've probably driven a car with a ZF automatic gearbox. It is remarkably good. The 7 inch stereo there, that will link to your phone and then it all does Apple CarPlay, Android Auto Play. So there's no embedded sat nav, but as soon as you link your phone, which you can help you do uh, via Bluetooth, uh, you've got your Google Maps icon on, on the screen and you use that. So it's actually running from your phone, but you're controlling it in total from the, uh, from, from the stereo there. Uh, it's got climate control instead of manual air conditioning which the competition has these new high gloss buttons plenty of charging points loads of air vents you got the concertina blinds from remis on all the front and the sides new door cards electronic power steering and twin swivel cab seats so you're not missing anything there so there's not a lot extra to spend on wild axes they're pretty much ready to play straight out of the box so coming in the front, we've got twin swivel cab seats and a little desk there with plug sockets, uh, USB and mains. Storage cupboard so you can sit there and do a bit of work or whatever. Um, storage above the cab, you can have the panoramic skylight up there if you prefer. Wild Axis Signature Tambador uh, cabinet work. This one's got the grey ash wood finish. There's uh, two options on that which come with different worktops as well. Fly screen door is standard. This is your gas locker, which will take a six kilo color gas bottle or a seven kilo uh, butane color gas bottle, so six or seven. And that just powers your oven, so that could last you potentially for, for years, depending on how much cooking you're doing. 
flip up extra worktop for your kitchen which gives you a real good kitchen space also means you could probably bring that seat forward and use that as a little little desk or laptop desk but you've got that one over there for that anyway so you don't really need it plenty of these little upholstered storage cupboards they even put in a spare one that you could put there or wherever you wish you've got a nice deep sink which comes with a washing up bowl and clip-on draining board Thetford combi triplex oven so three gas burners uh, combination oven and grill not one but two sockets above that spice bit wild axes signature timbre doors which i really really like people think they're noisy they're not they don't make any noise at all when you drive so the new thetford massive oh, 12 volt fridge freezer oh there's a knack with this which i can't do one-handed how annoying but yeah huge floor to ceiling 12 volt fridge freezer runs off your leisure battery Microwave runs off the mains, not got a spinny thing in it because it's a specific Dometic one. Ickle bits of storage down there with your tables. So you've got tables, two that can go in the back there. The flying wardrobe to give you room for your feet underneath so you can use the rear lounge of single beds with your table legs. And of course, your big end lounge, which is beautiful, as you can see. If you want to make it into a double, behind that little catch thing is a couple of balls just pull out, put your backrest in the middle, and you've got a massive flat bed. So if you are tall or big and you want a double bed, this is as big as anything you're going to find out there. It's bigger than any fixed bed you're going to find. You've got a nice opening skylight, storage cupboards all the way around. And yet, because the Ducato is so wide, so square, you've got loads of room. If this was like a crafter-based van, or a Merc, they curve in quite a lot towards the front. So whereas this, it's got plenty of sort of shoulder space at the back. So they come with a standard TV aerial. We'll fit you a bracket for them, put your choice of TV on it for you. We'll swap your TV from your part exchange. Plenty of plug sockets and chargers. There's more down there. There's loads that you could, could want everywhere. And then you've got your normal wet room bathroom, which is a very light and airy place to be. I like the fact it's got a window and a vent for ventilation. I like the fact that the shower hose is separate from the tap. And I love the Thetford bench toilet. Most fans have got the swing bowl toilet, but you don't need that with this layout. So Wild X have put the Thetford bench toilet in, which is the only bench toilet used by Wild X. And it gives you a bigger cassette and it's very, very stable. So there's storage up there. And yeah, good, effective little bathroom space. So these Wild Axe Ropers, they are 75.95 starting price for a manual, 78.95 for an auto. Um, so this one on top of that's got like the oh, it's also got Wi-Fi. This one is an option for four or five G Wi-Fi factory fitted from Wild Axe, courtesy of MotorhomeWiFi.com as well. This has got that. So this one's got the optional awning, barbecue point, Wi-Fi, and lithium. So that must take the price up into the somewhere into the early 80s anyway. So 83, maybe something like that. Um, but it packs a big punch for that money. It really does. It's cheaper than the equivalent auto sleeper. I think it's a much better van myself. I'd definitely say these are better than your likes of your Swifts and auto trail V lines and your eldest CVs. We do sell some of these as well, by the way. I'm not being biased in an attempt to sell it. Uh, and they're, they're up there and you melt in pot some of your smaller sort of high end van converters from your, your Vantages. Certainly up there with the Vantages and your... Um, Mervy's IH people like that, but at a better price point and with the backing of a, a big manufacturer and a full dealer network where you can go into any Wild Axe dealer and get it looked after because we will have to sign an agreement to do reciprocal warranty work. If you're going to be a Wild Axe dealer, you look after any Wild Axe customer, which is a lovely thing. It really is. And friendly people, nice factory, good people. Go and speak to the MD at the shows, they're nice things. So if you're interested, uh, currently we've got a uh, four-court display model you can look at and then a pipeline of others coming through. If you want a real quick, we might let the display one, which is only just coming go if you wish. Um, that's a manual one, but we do have an auto, which I think I'm going to make into Europa for March build. Um, so give us a call as soon as you can anyway, and we can get you one, or we might already have one. We've also got some second-hand ones around as well. So give us a call, 01626 three six four nine eight two six four nine oh no i've forgotten the phone number 
Google the phone number. <laughs> <laughs> or call direct on the mobile, which is definitely 07432 Check us on the hybridcaravans.co.uk website or come and visit us at Newton Abbott, Devon, midway between Exeter and Plymouth on the busiest road just over there in South Devon. We're dead easy to get to. And ask us about these wonderful world of wild action ropers. Thank you very much. Goodbye. <laughs>